Kata kong mga kuha natin. Kaya na mga hindi sa mulmul ninyo ba? Kaya mga hindi. Asa mo na pala yung ganyan niya? Ate, sa mong tanaw, kanig kung mga plastik, kung humano gamit, asa mo na sila mapunta? Sa karsada. Sa karsada. Sa kilid-kilid. Sa dagat. Dagat. Sa dagat. Dagat. Sa dagat. The long-standing issue of plastic pollution in our society is said to be rooted on industrialization and commercialization. Due to our dependence on plastic products, the sporadic growth of problems around plastics in our country has already reached its deemed maximal point. As per the United Nations Development Program, millions of tons of plastic waste are generated every year, leaving 40% of our oceans significantly polluted by it. Moreover, the problem does not end here. Even though plastic pollution has caused a drastic depletion of marine population, particularly of fishing, another problem we have at hand is a surge of fish wastes. The study of Caruso has it that every year more than 20 million tons of waste are generated by the world's fisheries industry. The hopes of finding a solution that could target these problems, all the while addressing the Sustainable Development Goal 14 of the United Nations are what incited the researcher to conduct this project. Ladies and gentlemen, I am John Inyo M. Ornopia, the man behind the research project, bioplastic film made from discarded fish scales of Mulmol parrot fish. Everything started with the question, how can I repurpose waste into something useful? Well, this was the main driving force that kept the entire project going. Months of trial and error and experimentation, battling the scarcity of resources and facilities, and conducting the entire thing in the middle of a pandemic are only of the few challenges that made the project even more challenging. In summary, the entire research process can be seen here. Given the strict quarantine protocols and also for convenience, all the Molmol fish scales used in the study are collected at one location. This is our research locale that is the Lapu-Lapu City wet market section. The collected fish scales are then washed thoroughly, sun-dried, and then boiled in low heat for at least 6 hours until a mucilaginous consistency is achieved. The residual water is then added with our chosen plasticizer and a bit of white vinegar. This is cooked in low heat and spread evenly on a flat surface and when cooled, is cut into our desired sizes. Lastly, this product is replicated into 10 different setups with varying measurements unique for each. Testing of the bioplastic include taking the weight of the bioplastic film, test of water absorption, and calculation of the rate of degradation within the allotted period of time. A registered chemical technician was also consulted for validation purposes. The expert examined all the samples and concluded that setup 5 with a weighted mean rating of 4.97 over 5 is the best out of the 10 setups. Furthermore, the consultant expert also left his observations for all the setups. I have no doubts on its, um, on its use, on it being usable. We already have so much um, alternatives and this one has an ample impact. All things said, this project is a testament that it only takes a curious mind to find new solutions along existing problems. Tapping the potentials of discarded fish waste, particularly of molmol or parrotfish, allowed us to create a bioplastic film which can be at par with the ones that currently circulate in the market. An environmental friendly substitute for such. Truly, this innovation is still far from a lot of things could still be improved about it. However, this is already a great step that we're taking into addressing the rampancy of plastic pollution in our environment. As one scientific community, let us embrace new ideas and lend our support to our young and aspiring innovators and inventors. As whatever causes they choose to pursue, its main goal is to make a difference in our lives. Once again, this is Nimi Ornopia. Lagit lagi, siyensya para sa bayan.